One of the reasons we keep coming back to London is that there's just always so much to do. And even now, after years of visiting, we're still finding fun neighborhoods. And on our most recent trip, we decided to check out Bethnal Green, which is a part of the Tower Hamlets borough, and this area has been seeing a revival in recent years, and is slowly but surely becoming one of the great and fun areas of the city. To start though, we're actually going to begin our day just south of that neighborhood at the Spitalfields Market. This has become one of our top markets in the city, with a tremendous amount to enjoy, whether it's in the newer, more modern market area, full of craft stands and surrounded by shops, or the old market with amazing food vendors, restaurants, cafes, and even bars. And when here, you certainly can't miss the old Spitalfields Market bar and bottle shop that has a pretty great selection of local craft beers to enjoy, and when you combine this with some of the great foods from the stalls, well now, it's just a great place. If you're looking for something a bit more naturey, though, you might be surprised to find the nearby Spitalfield City Farm, a fun little stop in the area to take in some of the countryside right in the middle of the London East End. It's especially fun and educational if you're traveling with kids, they can enjoy learning about all sorts of farm animals and plants and can even get up close to some. And for the adults, it's honestly a pretty relaxing place and you can even get a nice cup of tea while there. And that's not all you'll find in this area, as just behind the nearby railroad tracks, you'll discover the Nomadic Community Garden. This is an amazing and almost surreal spot that combines art, local pop-ups, and of course, community gardening to create a strange but beautiful little urban hideaway. Now, sadly, on the day we were there, it was quite rainy, so there wasn't really many people around. But when the weather's nice here, this becomes an extremely lively place that is just so much fun to enjoy. Moving on from there, we'll finally come to make our way into Bethnal Green proper with the Box Park. Now, coming off the artistic community garden to this more industrial shopping center made of shipping containers is a bit odd, but the Box Park is a great place to stop with some wonderful shops on the ground level to get your retail fix, and then you can head upstairs to try an amazing variety of food vendors with some great covered seating and even regularly spaced out bars for you to get yourself a nice drink. But don't forget there's also some more food vendors just outside the box park, also serving up some fun cuisine. Then just down the road we have another great stop with Brew Dog, which is actually just one in a large chain of brew dogs spanning both the US and the UK. And normally we aren't too huge into chain pubs, but this one is something special as they don't just serve their own Scottish craft beer here, they also make sure to have other craft beers from the local area. And that's just great as each brew dog is really a unique experience despite being a global chain. So all in all, a pretty good good place to sit, take a load off, and enjoy a good drink. So if you're looking for something a bit more unique, just around the corner is the Serial Killer Cafe, a very interesting little place serving over a hundred cereals that you can enjoy in either one of their pre-made combinations, or you can even make your own. And even though it really seems like a place for kids, they very much are banking on 80s and 90s nostalgia to bring in that age group and cater to them with a pretty impressive variety of cereal-themed cocktails, which are surprisingly delicious. It's a weird but fun place that is really a must-see in the area, if just for the novelty of it. Now it's a bit of a walk to our next stop at the V&A Childhood Museum. But don't worry, on the way you can always enjoy the street market along Bethnal Green Road. It's a pretty standard local market, but certainly worth a look. And once you make it through, you'll find a great museum all about the history of toys. It's a neat place, especially for kids, as they'll enjoy all the exhibits full of toys and interactive activities. And for the adults, there's a nice little cafe inside. And and 
and it's actually a pretty informative museum. And after that stop, you might be looking for a bit of peace, and you'll certainly find it just outside with the Museum Gardens and Bethnal Green Park. These two green spaces are a wonderful spot to rest and reflect on the day so far. And if you did stop to pick something up at the market, this is actually a really great place to enjoy a picnic. wouldn't stop for too long as we still have some more stops as just across the street and down an alley that sells furniture you'll find Renegade London Wine. This is one of just a handful of urban wineries in London and here just under some train tracks they make some delicious wines using juices shipped in from all over but we found the sparkling wines made from British grapes to be some of the more intriguing as it's not something we've had much of in the past. If beer is more your thing though, then you're in luck as just next door is the Old Street Brewery and Tap Room. This is one of the newest breweries in the area making some truly delicious small batch beers. They got their start under a pub and are now enjoying their own arch along the tracks, making IPAs, double IPAs, and even a nice sour. It's a pretty cozy place for a beer and with the winery next door, you really should be able to find something for anyone's taste. this making Bethnal Green a pretty interesting neighborhood and one we wish we'd have found sooner. There is just so much to do here and we really only scratch the surface as it's an awesome area to wander around with markets, pubs, museums, and even wineries for you to enjoy. So get out there and explore my friends and if you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and of course we do hope to see you on our next adventure.